To be honest, this looks worse than it actually is. You gotta figure out the area arm. But this won't just be a one and done interval. You have to do it in multi-steps since the questions didn't have the decency to break it down for you. They just gave you 10 marks and said, have fun. So the area R is composed of what I will call R1 and R2. Meaning the area underneath the straight line is your R1 and the area underneath the curved bit is R2. To figure out R1, you will first need the coordinates of the height and the base because then you can just do the area of a triangle. And then, first off, done deal. So how can you figure out those things? Well, the X coordinate at the peak is already given alongside the height being 6. So all you need is to figure out the coordinates where it crosses the X axis. How? By using the equation of the straight line. But you don't have that. You don't have the equation of line L. Meaning you have to generate it. You get told that the line is normal to C. Meaning if you differentiate the function C and insert the coordinate 4, it will give you the gradient of the curve. But that is the gradient of the curve, not the line. And the line is normal to it. So you need to use the formula that perpendicular gradient is equal to minus 1 over gradient of your curve. Meaning the gradient is going to be minus 1 over 2 in this case for the line. From that, you can figure out the C intercept by using the info that at x is equal to 4, y is equal to 6, giving you C as 8. Now that you have the equation of the line, you need the x coordinate at which y is equal to 0. So using the equation, you get that x is equal to 16. That number seems fairly decent. It's far away from the other two coordinates. So it seems to check out. So the first component is going to be r1 is equal to half times 16 minus 4, only the base of that triangle and nothing else, multiplied by 6, giving you 36. Not bad so far. This value is less than 46, so seems to be good. The next is the curved bit, and arguably the easier of two. You just need to integrate the function and insert the limits between which you want your area to be, in this case 4 and 2. I recommend turning the 32 over x squared into 32x to the minus 2, as it makes life a bit easier when you integrate. Integrating the function and then insert the limits. Word of warning, just do each limit one at a time, as if you insert all the things in the calculator at once, you risk making an error. Happens more often than you think. Plugging all the numbers in, you get the area R2 as being 10. And then add it up, and you get 46 as requested, and 10 marks in the bag. 